Hello everyone and welcome back to some more modded Risk of Rain 2 Seekers of the Storm. We are jumping in this time as Classic Sniper. This is basically the um, sniper that got added to the game officially, but this is the old version of it from Risk of Rain 1, remade as a mod. Pretty cool. We're going to jump in and see how we go. Of course, we are playing Eclipse Mode once again, as we tend to do. But I do, I do really like um, sniper-based characters, ones that are sort of found on accuracy. Uh, this guy's got another one of those mechanics where if we time it right, we get a faster shot. I think if we get it in the white, we get extra damage as well, but it's it's a little hard to time, to be honest. It's a little hard to time. There you go, I got it. Yeah, it does seem like we get more damage if we do that, but you can, you, can, you see, you can like rock back and forward. It's a little easier to get it on the back way than it is the forward. Good, good, and we can, we can uh, hip fire with this thing as well, which is kind of nice. And then what we got for our um, ability here. So that's a roll with a bit of um, stealth by the looks of it, which is kind of nice. Okay, it's going to be a little hard to get this timing right. And then what does that R ability do? Oh, okay, it's so our drone. It's like hovered over that enemy. And that was, yeah, that was definitely more damage. So we can analyze an enemy for more damage by the looks of it. That's, that's what I remember reading. But I do like to just get in and try these things. This character seems like it's going to be an interesting one. I do wonder how the uh, how attack speed will help this character. I am curious to see that. Ooh, extra damage to bosses. I will already straight away take one of those. The extra crit chance isn't as good as the extra damage to bosses will be for us. Boom. Boom. So I do a lot less damage if I completely miss the mark. Got to be a little careful. I've, I've, I've got to try and make sure. What, what's this little dude? Oh, look at that shot. Look at that shot. We got this guy here. I don't know if hitting the specific, like, mark on them does anything more. I think that's actually for our, for our drone. I don't think that makes a difference to the actual damage we deal. It's not like the other character where it gets a guaranteed crit sort of thing. I, I'm, I'm enjoying this character so far. I also really like the look of him as well. Let's actually take a little bit of a... A little bit of a closer look. I mean, I like the character, and I really like the drone that we've got going on here as well. I think that looks really, really nice. Oh, goddamn. Um, the, the, the bar has disappeared into photo mode. There you go, it's back now. That was a little scary there. Oh, we got this already. Nice, nice. And we have a scrapper here as well. That's very good to see. Quite close to the 3D printer as well, which is really nice. Got another 3D printer over there. Not the best one, though. And we've got a few items over here and a little turret next to that as well. That's very nice to see. But yeah, I apologize that it's been a little bit since I've done some Risk of Rain. Uh, there's been a bit of a gap in between. Um, that's pretty nice. Um, it, yeah, it's been a little bit of a gap in between. Since I came back off holiday, I've not really recorded much more Risk of Rain. So I'm just kind of getting back into the rhythm of things at the moment. Which is taking a bit of time. It always takes a little bit of time to get back into the rhythm of stuff. Oh, no thank you. Yeah, look at that damage. And then it froze him as well. Okay, interesting. We can grab this. That's a very, very good item for us to get here. I like that a lot. Thank you. Oh, I see him. I see him. Oh, did you see that snipe? That was, that was amazing. I'm proud of myself for that. Right, I'm going to go up here real quick and just check out what's going on. Look at him jumping. I gotcha. I gotcha. We got death mark. Death mark really isn't gonna go come into consideration that much, I wouldn't think. But it's not bad to have. Can we see what we got going up there? We do have the big chest up there, so we want to make our way over that way. Let's grab this chest down here first, though. And make our way up and around over that way. Scratch ticket, I'll probably scrap. I've got another chest over here, actually. I really ought to be using my roll more often. It's on a five-second cooldown. It's pretty quick. Boom. Gotcha. Don't you be stabbing me, good sir. Don't you be stabbing me. Another monster tooth. Honestly, a monster tooth I probably want to get rid of as well. Weeping um, fungus. Good old fungus will uh, help us out enough. Yeah. I got much going on in here. Oh my god, the piercing. The piercing, baby. Okay. Not much going on here. Gotta remember I can hit fire as well. That's actually pretty useful with this character. I don't have to aim down sight. 
Okay, big chest coming our way. I do like of the big chest. That drones. Um. Oh wait, that works on turrets too. Okay, good to know. I was gonna say drones. Not that's not that useful. Considering it works on turrets too, I have to say I quite like that. Right, look at that little beast with his little turrets there. Okay, okay, I can get behind that. Right, let's go play the uh, the chance shrine and we'll get out of here. We'll just spam the hell out of it. Oh, we got both items straight away. Right. Okay, what do we want to scrap? Rubber duck I'll probably keep. Even five armor. It's it's a decent amount. Uh, I'm going to scrap that for now. I'll scrap both of those. And I'll scrap that. And then we'll go over to the printer over here. Oh, there's a chest here that I completely missed. And it's a big one as well. Wow. I walked right over that. Um... Game plus one extra jump that ignites enemies. Okay, honestly, I don't care about whatever it does. The plus one jump is enough for me to be pretty happy about that. Good stuff. Excuse me, good sir. That was a bit rude. Didn't even pick up everything I need to pick up there. Didn't realize there was another one of these here as well. I will spam that. Two green items, both decent enough. Oh my god, one's going to give us some max HP as well. That's why you need the extra jump right there. Okay. I'm going to use this guy to heal myself up. And we will get ourselves the hell out of here, because we have taken a bit too long. I wouldn't say it's that bad, actually. We've managed to clear the stage. I think that's good enough. Not something you get to do every time. And we do have um, almost 100% extra damage. Almost double damage against bosses. So the boss should be pretty swiftly killed here for us. Okay, so I, I can like cancel my analyze at any point. That's kind of nice to see. I want to say it's a little bit faster to just spam fire like this. Even though we do less damage with our shots we do more damage overall i think oh we got uh prayer beads okay i can keep them for a little while yeah there you go there is a lot going on with these enemies over here but as long as we stay alive we're absolutely fine here we don't have to worry about killing them really i'm just gonna pop shots at them and hope for the best to be honest yeah close range like this i don't really need to be worrying too much I need to be lining enemies up, I know that. Sure. Oh god, the, the little child. Hey, where, where's the child that's shooting me? Oh, there you are. Dude, those, those shots the child fires are very, very strong. Knocked him down. Get back here, where are you going? Got him. Unfortunately, my turret kind of spawned in a bad spot, really. Didn't really spawn in a spot where I could help us too much with the boss. Not what we like to see. Look at them all. <laughs> jumping off. I suppose with a fire rate, it could be helpful for situations like this where you're just kind of spam firing. Um. Hmm. I'm going to go through here and see what my legendary is. I might get rid of my green items. I've got, I've got a few good ones here, but if there's a good enough legendary, there's nothing that I'm that attached to. I could definitely go for a legendary item if it's something that could really benefit us. I'm just trying to think what that would be. Extra three levels there is rather nice. Oh my god, that jump was huge. Right, what we got going on? Killing enemies surrounds you with an ice storm, dealing damage, uh, slows enemies. Um, the storm grows every kill. That's pretty good. I'll give it a go. Of course, prayer beads is the one that I end up keeping. Kind of a not. Eh, that's a decent item. I lose my extra jump. And I lose my ability to gain some extra max HP, which isn't ideal. But, I don't know. I, I don't. I haven't really played the Ice Storm that much, but it seems like it's pretty good. I'm pretty sure it's a vanilla item, right? Um, but it seems like it'll be pretty good. Uh, it seems like a lot of damage output and just slowing enemies that are close to me on a character that's kind of ranged just seems useful. I'm a little sad to see my uh, my missiles go, though. I kind of like that, uh, that missile item we had going on. Yeah. Seems to be doing good damage already. Some chests. 
A 56 leaf clovers, very, very nice. And also the turret's doing just fine on its own right now. You do you, turret. You do you. Oh, wow. Another legendary again. Two damage every level. That's pretty good. Oh, dude. Our damage just went up significantly. Holy hell. 437 from like 200 and something we were doing before. Our damage went up a lot. Rose Buckler's pretty good. Okay, we got quite a few chests in and around over here. Go check those out. Gonna quickly take a little peek in here. Always chests I forget in these areas. I did see one chest just over here. And I did indeed think it was a large one, and it was. Nice. There's also what seems to be an active item over there, which we'd probably want to grab. We don't have an active yet. Oh, look at that. The one shot, baby. The one shot. Right, let's grab that. Need, what was it, 180 something for the, the big chest? I do like the fact that I get the, um, the target marking from such a distance, though. That's really nice. Oh, I see this guy. Oh, wait. Hold up. I've been missing out on this. Oh, damn. There's like a, a primed shot here. Oh, dude. How have I been not understanding this mechanic? I've been missing out on this. Oh, my God. I can do so much damage if I target and analyze beforehand as well. That's wild. Oh, I like that. So this is definitely much quicker, but that aiming down sight and holding it malarkey seems very good. Harpoon, I actually quite like the harpoon nowadays, so don't mind that at all. Right, let's come get this active item that was over here. We need one. And you know what? Radar scanner, although not offensively very good, generally I do quite like it. More movement speed, yes please. Mimic is kind of interesting here. Ah, oh, bloody... These little hibbity hop things are so hard to hit in aim down sight. Unless I freeze them. To be fair, if you get close to me, you do get whacked with a bit of freeze. Beautiful. Right, we had another chest down here somewhere, didn't we? I thought... I thought we had a chest down here on my scanner. Did I misinterpret what I saw there? Where was it? Oh, it's over there. I see, I see, I see. Okay, I've got two chests over here by the looks of it. Yeah, it's kind of a hard one to spot that, to be honest. Ferrofluid gives us a bit of crit chance, so that's not too bad. And there's the other look, chest right here, look. Oh my god, brilliant behemoth. We are getting a lot of legendaries right now. I like it. Behemoth is very nice for us here. You have to aim on sight for such a long time to activate that beast shot though. I feel like it's going to be good to prep for like bosses, but otherwise I'm not going to be able to use that that much. Right, where are we going next? Teleport was just over here somewhere. There you go. Delica Watch is a good pickup. Happy with that. I'll check what's in here. Enemies hit by your attacks will be pulled towards you. Oh, God, no. That sounds uh, not good. As a melee character, that sounds awesome. Okay. Okay. Just casually one-shotting the boss. Didn't think it would quite hit that hard. But I like it. 
Bing, bang, boom. Good amount of damage. Okay. I like that. We have a good setup right now. We have to hang around a good bit though here. Wait a minute. Do we have any more chests we can grab while we're waiting? There is a chest. How far away is this chest? Not too far. Not too far. There you go. That's good as well. Plus 40% damage is very nice at 300 gold, which we're already at. So yet more damage we can output here. I kind of want to take that and just gamble, but it seems like a bad idea. I don't know. Let's give it a go. Why not be a bit wacky? Doesn't seem like the best of ideas, does it? But It doesn't seem too bad, actually, because enemies that are really far away aren't getting really pulled that far. Right, cool. We're through. Good first few floors. I mean, legendaries, we've got three of them so far. That's not that usual for stage two, so... Or stage three now, should I say, but yeah. Wow, you got wrecked, turret. You got wrecked. Mocha there could be kind of good. What's this? Focus crystal, eh. Probably not the best for us. Can I actually hit at this distance? Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Nice. I hear an enemy behind me. Okay, it's just you. You're not that bad. Right, anything on this island before we shoot off? Chest right here. Brian over there. Hey, we got our soul ring back. Where's a penny? Ooh, that's that's potentially pretty good, but we'd need a we need a white print uh, a scrapper first so we could actually use the printer. I, there's some stuff I do not want to get rid of, mainly my uh, speed and my boss damage are both really really good. Are you ready for this? Wherever you're gonna pop up, little snake boy. Oop! Dead it. Bandolier? I don't think Bandolier does anything for this character, right? Right. Check this again. Much going on over there. Nope. Good. We can just go this way. We want a better active item. We could get 100% crit chance, which could be kind of nice. Teddy bear. Obviously, we go with that. Void item there as well. Nice. Shipping request form, not bad either. It's pretty good stuff here. I don't even know what that is. I'm gonna take it. Regen uh, um, health. Okay, that's just that's that's not a corrupted version of an item. Interesting. I've never seen that before. All right, let's let's hold hold on uh, this here. Boom. <laughs> I like that. I like that a lot. Right, let's look for some chests over here. Missed a chest down there, apparently. Oh, missed a void seed as well down here. Ah, the, the, the teleporter's that way. We'll come back for that. We will come back for that. Don't need to worry about it too much right now. Okay. Grab me an apple. Whatever. Not the best. Oh, God. I always forget about the goddamn storms being as powerful as they are. Kind of scary. Oh my god, I, it, it apparently can kill things for me as well, though. Wasn't aware of that. Okay, we got the Void Seed here, which we only have one monster left in. There you go, here he is. Another one of these bad boys. I'll take it. Was that the only thing in this void seed? That was a terrible void seed. Anyways, let's jump off here and roll to victory. And I think our void 
um, thingy is down here, Void Cradle. Wait, where, 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 where was it? I saw it somewhere around here. What the hell? I swear there was one around here. Did I misinterpret where I saw it? Maybe. Right, I'm going to go back here and activate the Lunar Area again. I kind of just want to go, like, tons of Legendaries this run. Because, again, all of our greens are fine, but none of them are essential. So... Alright, chill out, you. Right, where the hell was it? Is it back here? There it is. Okay. Oh, where we go. Right, remember to get ourselves ready here. So, fire a shot. In white, there you go. We got that ready. And then we press, we, we aim down sight and we press R on the boss as it spawns and we annihilate it. So we hold down aim. See where the boss is. In a terrible spot, unfortunately. There you go. That was a good amount of damage, I'd say. Dead. Boss done. Hey, we got our boots back. Nice. Yeah, mixing all this stuff together with the boss, extra boss damage we have is uh, pretty insane. But yeah, the waiting is it's not something you want to do on regular enemies, really, I don't think. It's a bit too much. Oh my lord. That enemy was far. Ah, no, no. I fell. Ah, I fell further. No. Okay, the Ashby has to settle. Finally, we can see. Okay, let's just chill for a second. I'm trying to think what other legendary would be really good for us right now. I mean, at the minute, anything that gives us more damage, our damage is uh, pretty saucy. My turret's doing a bang-up job as well. I can see my player model when I aim and aim down sight for a second there. That's weird. Also, my turret is a bit carry wampus. I think it's because it's aiming down. Yeah, it literally was just because it was aiming down. That's kind of funny. Right, almost done. Make sure not to go through there, go through the blue portal, which will probably spawn up there, knowing my luck. Make sure get ready in case that happens. It did not. It spawned right here. Right. Time to get rid of more greens. Please take prayer beads away from me and give me some stats. Depends what the legendary is, to be fair, I guess, if it's something absolutely trash. Yeah, I'll take that. Damn it, it didn't take my prayer bead away. God damn it. Yeah, the chocolate bar's pretty good. When damage for at least 20% of your max HP, the excess is reduced by 50%, and you get a stacking buff that grants uh, plus 50 base damage and critical chance. So basically, we get hit for big damage, and it lowers the damage, and then we can hit for big damage straight after. Pretty good stuff. I wonder how my uh, my dude looks like in this. I'm in an inverted area here. Makes the camera controls all wonky. Oh damn, he looks pretty cool. He looks pretty cool. I wonder why photo mode box with the um, the charge bar though. Wait, it's not coming back. The bar's not coming back. Inferno mode is there briefly, but... Damn it, I balked it. You need to chill out, my good sir. Chill out. Oh my god, what is going on with that body? So yeah, I don't know what happened to my charge bar, but it's gone now. Right, let's quickly look for where the um, legendary crate might be. Not here. I should be able to see if it's up there, but I don't think it is. 
Maybe fire rate increases the rate at which that charges as well. That'd be nice. That's a big chest. I'd like to open it, but I can't. Yeah, we ain't got it there either. Probably going to be up top. Is that a scrapper I see there? That is a scrapper. Which, honestly, scrapper. Take my prayer beads from me. Like, that's, that's pretty decent, I'd say. Right. Ah, oh, we come in the right way for the, uh... Whoa! For the old mushrooms. Where are they? They must be in the middle if they're not up here. Not you, mushroom. I know I asked for a mushroom, but you're not the right one. Okay, yeah. Kind of balked here. Gotta be up there, then. I mean, I don't even have anywhere near enough money to buy it yet, so... Not much point looking, but it's just it's just good to know where it is. Good to know where we stand. What we're aiming towards, how much it's going to cost, sort of thing. Come on, please be here, otherwise I have no idea. Ow! It's not, I have no idea where it is. There's, there's like one location that I always forget about. Clearly it's in that location currently. I should be analysing more often. It's, like, kind of free to do. Storm's approaching. It's not just, like, in here and I didn't see it, right? Nah. I don't really know where else it can be. Can it be, like, in the back of here, maybe? Ah, Storm's spawning stuff near me. If I, like, come over this way... Ah, oh, bollocks, I just missed it. Try again. What? No, it's not in there. Not that I saw it, at least. I need to try that again, just in case, because that was a bit of a whiff. Let's not dash super preemptively this time. Let's do this. There you go. Yeah, I thought maybe it could spawn in here, but clearly not. So I'm just missing something. I am just missing something. Right, I'm going to open this now, because I'm not super hopeful I'll find it. I'd like to get something out of the stage. Unless it's, like, down here. I haven't even seen the teleport yet, I don't think. What the hell's that? Thank you for the coin. Okay. Not down here either, by the looks of it. How is there, like, one spot that I'm just completely unaware of? I feel like I'd have just ran into it by now. Also, I see that over there. We got... Gimme, gimme, gimme. Thank you. No! Okay, no. It's okay. We're okay, we're okay. Right, back up top we go, I guess, then, and see if we can find it up top. But I'm not going to commit too much more time to looking here, because I really don't know. I'm, I'm, the only place I haven't checked, really, is all the way over this side. So I guess it's got to be over this side. A lot of the lightning enemies coming in at the minute. Scaring the bejeebus out of me. Oh my god, those guys are fast. Like, no, it's not here, though. The heck? Okay, there's a teleporter. We, we technically had seen it before. I just didn't remember. All right, let's get let's get like a general overview and see if we can see it from like above or something. Need to dash up here. Like, surely we'd be able to see the mushrooms somewhere around, right? Apparently not, though. Does it? Just, oh, there it is. Look at that. Look at that. I see it. I see it. I see it. Yeah, I never remember this spot exists. 
So like, where the hell is it? Oh my god, 4,000. Okay, we're not actually that far off that, to be honest. Dude, I could have just used my goddamn scan ability and found it that way. It's literally got an icon. How stupid am I? I just didn't expect it to have a unique icon, I'll be honest. We only need like a thousand more, so we're almost there. I realize that I'm not being efficient with my uh, reloads right now, but I can't see my reloads, so that's going to have to be how it is. Right, there you go. We got enough. And we get ourselves increased HP of 50% depending on current gold. Okay, that's potentially pretty good. Right, let's just get the boss done now. Through here, right? We got an essence out of that as well, nice. Right, boss time, here we go. Again, get this charged up. Did okay, but not the best. Is there two bosses here? I think there is, isn't there? Yeah, there is. Chill, 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 chill. Boom. I didn't kill it. I'm kind of surprised. Okay. Done. And I will be taking another legendary item pretty much no matter what it is. Whoa. Oh my god. That was a crazy roll. Oh, that did a lot of damage to me. My health regen is actually really, really good right now. Health regen is working out for me. Take a healing drone as well, why not? What are you doing, little fella? There's these little da darty dudes that are all over the place. Kind of hard to keep track of. Ah! Dude flew away. I'm really liking this character, though, so far. Ooh, we got a Highland gift. Which one is it? While using a primary skill, gain 4% attack speed and armor every second. After using a different skill, ah, that kind of doesn't really work for us very well. Because we don't, like, we don't really exclusively just use our primaries. That doesn't really do much for us. Luna area, once again. Another legendary coming our way. We are getting plenty. We <laughs> are... Grants a random assortment of stat bonuses that are re-rolled upon entering a new stage. Cool. Bonus scales with level as well. Okay, I can get behind that. Green items don't matter when you're stacking those red items. This character seems like not super dependent on items though, so we're doing alright. Sawmerang, I will definitely take if I get the money for it. Does it tell me what my bonuses were from the horseshoe? 33% crit chance and crit damage, some armor, a lot of shield. Interesting. Sawmerang's 800, goddamn. Luckily, I can afford that very easily. Right. This stage, we kind of just want to blast through. God damn the launch that gives you. Oh, hello, grandparent. Wasn't aware you'd be here. Are you ready? Oh my god. I guess I'll do this. Why not? Do we know where our thingy is? Oh, it's literally right here. I'm sure to proc it straight away, I think. Let's get going. I 
And we'll just do a bunch of these. And then I'll do a Sawmerang into him as well. Yeah, <laughs> the Sawmerang destroyed him. Got this. Thank you. Just dart around and buy stuff that's nearby. Sawmerang's going to be helpful. I think this guy should be pretty good against the uh, against the old boss as well. The chest here, lovely. I've got one of these guys in here as well. I always forget that these spawn in this area now. I don't know if that's a modded thing or not. I think it is a modded thing. But you don't see many void touched versions of those guys, do you? Someone pointed out something very horrific. These enemies are called uh, called the child. So when they're when they're voided, they're called a void touched child. But mm, kind of a sussy name there. Right, we are ready to go pretty much. Ah, oh, I forgot about my items from this as well. Unfortunately, both pretty bad. Again, we'll be trading these for legendaries if we can. Although, actually, we need another green item, really. But, oh, well, I'll just go. We're only on four green items right now. We need one more for our legendary trade. Haha, <laughs> just dodged you, child. Right, now, unfortunately, unfortunately, the one thing that we have neglected this entire run is movement speed. We do not have a lot of movement speed, so this run is going to be pretty slow. Run to the tele uh, to the jump pad or whatever is going to be kind of a slog. Once again, though, I stand by. It shouldn't be the way it is. You should just spawn near that central area, and when you kill the boss, the, the run should just be over. We do still have our harpoon, so getting a kill gives us a, a very, very short burst of speed. Not exactly the best, but I don't think I can shoot through that, can I? <laughs> I'm just picking off damage at a distance. I definitely think that my attack speed is uh, affecting the charge rate of that. Yeah, because I've got 61% extra attack speed um, at the moment. And I'm definitely seeing that that's charging a lot, lot faster, so... Attack speed's actually pretty relevant on this guy. I will go for these jumpies over here. Oh, bye! When you have the harpoon active, you dive so far. Oh, look at that. Oh, I thought I was going to make it. It's okay, it'll teleport us back to where we want to be. Exactly to where we want to be. Lovely. Right. Now we can activate these bad boys. I don't think they overlap, unfortunately. Yeah, unfortunately they don't. We can't do both at once. Get a Sawmerang in there. Yeah, realistically, you want a lot of attack speed and just, just to use this main attack that like quadruples the damage you're putting out. Do I have a warped echo? When did I get a warped echo? I don't even know. Oh, come on, these, these pillars take way too long. I'm pretty sure there is a mod that makes them a lot faster. I should probably grab that, because this is this this stage is already too much waiting around. We should only have to do these two pillars, though, which is nice. Hey, there's my next green item. Right. Boom. Get did it. Does it do damage to me? No, it doesn't. This is thumbnail fire. I don't know I could turn around properly. My th photo mode's got my thing in it, though. Look. My charge bar. What the hell? Oh, 
that kills me pretty quick. I was just testing like the, the waters of how my regen stands up against the uh, the fire there. Not great. It's just Sawmerang him. That'll kill him pretty quick. Sawmerang as well, we get to keep for the boss. I really like the fact that you can still use your actives on the boss even when he takes your items. So that's going to wreck him pretty quickly. Hey, this is, the fire doesn't touch us here. I thought it would still touch me, but I get away with it just by standing on this tiny little pillar. Right. Okay, so teleporter is activated, yeah. Do I want to go and trade some items? I probably do. As long as it's not going to take me a night and a day to get over there. It'd be nice to kill that guy, to be honest. Oh, wait. Killing you will do. It's this one over here we want to be at, isn't it? I think? I never remember where the, uh, the trading stations are. Oh, it's this one. It's this one. Not much going there. Where the hell are the rest of them? Are they all up top? That they are, yes. Yeah. Right, we got... Upgrade one of your skills. Unique pair character. Um... I don't think that will do anything for a modded character, but I've never seen this item before, so I'm going to give it a go. Okay. We are good to go. Oh, wait. My R ability got changed. My R ability is visually different. I think it heals me now, maybe? I don't know what's different about it, but it's, it's definitely it definitely changed for a second there, right? It wasn't just me. Oh, maybe it was just me, actually. I don't know what that did. My m Oh, wait, hold up. My mouse one was different then as well. Ah, okay, okay, okay. It's just to do with me reloading. I don't think it's changed anything. I don't think the Ancient Scepter does anything on this character, unfortunately. Or at least, it might just give me stats or something, I don't know. Right, anyways, boss time. Get this guy deaded. Uh, excuse me? Excuse me? <laughs> what did I do wrong? Can we land directly back on top of this? Get it. That's a bit more like it. <laughs> what was that about? Whoa, what? there's some shenanigans going on right now. Now, this guy's going to be kind of tricky, to be honest, because unless we hip fire the whole fight, he's going to be kind of an ass. Oh, wow, I almost died there. Oh, my God. Okay, yeah, this guy's not fucking around right now. I can feel a death coming in here. We haven't had a death to Mithrix in age. Why am I standing so close to him? What am I doing? Oh my goodness. This guy needs to chill out, man. Fall damage is going to be brutal. Indeed it was. Get deaded. Okay, that's a phase done at least. Trying to do the charge up shots, I'm focusing quite heavily here, so I apologize if my commentary is a bit lacking right now. What's left? Okay, no, he's back. 
Oh, what the hell? There is a dude here. My attacks pulling enemies finally did something. Yeah, I really can't get away from him while I'm focusing on charging up my shot here, so I've just got to kind of be at the whim of him not getting in my face. I am slowly pulling him towards me as well, which isn't helping. Like, because I slowly suck enemies towards me while I'm aiming down sight is what I'm learning. It's kind of funny. All my attacks pull enemies towards me, including aiming down sight because it's technically an attack, it's a skill. Mid-air shot him. Nice. Right. Okay. Got a half-decent chance at a win here now. He's going to take my items, but that shouldn't be too bad. And the turret's doing a fine job right now. There you go. We got him. We got him. Okay, that wasn't too bad at all. That wasn't too bad at all. That that was probably the closest we've been to a Mithrix death. But I'm happy to say we didn't die. Now we've just got to do this BS. Hopefully there's some small enemies we can kill on the way back. Wow, I got a... Uh, I kind of wrecked by that attack then. What is going on with my body right now? Oh, that was the chocolate bar, I think, saving me. To be fair, that chocolate bar legendary probably saved us quite a bit during that whole ordeal. I didn't even think about how strong that thing was. Because not only was it saving us from high damage from him, it was giving us damage when we took big damage from him. Save, uh, giving us all that damage probably meant we killed him a lot faster. I love how this guy runs. So, like, rhythmic. Right, anyways, we are basically here now. Oh my god, those guys have way too much health. We are going to be chilling. Just chilling. I don't know how safe it is to completely just chill during this phase, but I think it's reasonably safe to get inside here, right? Especially when we've got Sawmerang and a turret distracting things. Seems to be invincible, it's just not dying. Oh, you have locked me down, no, no. Oh shit, there's one of these things spewing fire at me. Okay, I very nearly did die there. Okay, let's, uh, let's, let's just bounce from inside there for a hot second, because I thought that was going to be way safer than it was. Last few percent. Boom. We did it, baby. I hope you guys did enjoy. That was a lot of fun and a cool character. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.